Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new series, well I say brand new, um, a new kind of series that we've, we've done before, but it's got, it, it, like last year me and Angela did a series called Mental Health Awakening, and because that went really well, we really enjoyed doing it, we've decided to um, do another one, but this time we're calling it Mental Health Awakening 2, because it makes sense, last time it was 1, this time it's 2. So uh, today is going to be the opening episode where me and Angela just have a little catch up about the, the first series and talk a little bit about the, the the new series which is going to be coming your way. So Angela, hello, how 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 are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm excited about Mental Health Awakening too. I'm Angela T. Jackson. I am the face of the Jackson Impact Mental Health Solutions. I am. In Tennessee, in the United States of America, still partnering with the UK and excited about this series. I've been doing well since the last one. And Mason is right. We're excited to get started for Mental Health Awakening too. Definitely. Definitely. We, we, we like at the end of the last one, we, we, we kind of asked ourselves, didn't we, if we wanted to do it again? Um, Like if we want to do it again, like a, a yearly thing. Um, yeah. Um, around mental health awareness and acceptance, like for month, the month of May, um, but yeah, it's it, I think it's great, like um, like because for, for people who don't know, um, if you didn't watch the last series, um, me and Angela both have Crohn's, um, and um, that that's how we kind of first met in uh, a couple of years ago now, um, but um, but yeah, like uh, the whole series is it, gonna be. It, this time, me and Angela decided to make it a little bit smaller, didn't we, Angela? So not as many episodes as the first time. Absolutely, absolutely. The last series, we had an episode every day in the month of May. <laughs> so it was very close to about <laughs> 20, 25, maybe. <laughs> lots of recording, lots of preparation, and it, lots of guests. Lots of awesome guests that were featured and we have all continued to remain connected. So the networking has been amazing from that um, series. It's always good to highlight and, and raise awareness for mental health um, all year long. But yeah. May's, a, May's the month. <laughs> yeah, it, it is the month. And like, like you say, you can just raise awareness all the time. Um, we don't need a month for it, but... It's always good to have like uh to talk about it because it's more a lot of people do talk about it yeah uh, a lot more now than um than long ago <laughs> um but uh but yeah like uh so I think I think what, what we were thinking Angela to do about um so not we're not gonna do as many episodes but the people we're gonna have on we're we're we're, we're, we're kind of sharing the spotlight so me and Angela are gonna be share like choosing half of the guests each so uh it's gonna be really cool who we choose <laughs> absolutely i'm excited about that yeah yeah because um like i think like last time there were so many really good guests um that uh who came on um and like it it, 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 it like it was really fun wasn't it just to speak to different people hearing our journeys and stories about what mental health absolutely Absolutely. We had guests who shared personal experiences. We had guests who were professionals and had expertise as far as mental health and mental health care. We had others who were or advocates kind of like us standing up and raising awareness for a specific cause. And it was just, it was a great variety. We even had one viral sensation <laughs> <laughs> to did. show up. So we had a a great variety of guests on the last series. So we did, and like it was, there were so many episodes, um, like for every day, like you say, like every day there was an episode. Um, we might have had the, the odd Saturday off, but perhaps, but <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but um, but yeah, but this time we plan to start it like when this episode out, it should be about mid May. So last time when we did the first series, it started off at I think the first of May. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, well, I think the reason we decided to do this was because 
Um, of course, it takes a lot of time um, to do it, doesn't it? Um, and like the amount of people, I think we started a little bit earlier as well last year, didn't we? We started, I think, at the start of February or something, um, the end of January. Yeah. And and this time we started, I was starting recording a little bit later. Um, I guess because um, I don't know. We 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 just. I don't know the reason for it. I, I guess we just uh, we it's it's difficult to get into back into the process of the year, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The timing. This I'm still wondering where January first has gone. So <laughs> some time has slipped away. I think um, we both have maybe had some other projects that we had to plan for, and so a lot of it has to do with timing, availability, and choosing. Uh, the right the right guess yeah yeah because there's so many that we can choose from like um i don't think getting a, a guests are hard i think that's probably one of the easiest things <laughs> um yeah but um but i think the hardest thing is like maybe arranging it and i think it'd be fine um because um there, there's lots of time that we could do that but but yeah we just had a, a little break um and even so even if we did start earlier i think we would have done the same amount of episodes anyway and like um i think we said that at the end of the last time um that we were going to do um not as many guests um, mm-hmm. um because um it does burn you out the matter like like maybe like um saying that you've got to do all loads of guests every single day because may is aware month awareness of mental health mm-hmm. but, but uh we don't have to so it, it's good that we've kind of done it a little bit shorter this time yeah definitely definitely minimizing a little bit of the <laughs> hustle and bustle a little bit of the stress and it gives it gives us a little bit more time to prepare it gives the guests a time to prepare um we had wonderful um headshots we had wonderful introductions and uh yeah all that comes into play the marketing the sharing when it's time yeah. so yeah so like like you said we have more time and not as stressful I mean, that amount, amount of flies that you had to make like last time <laughs> uh, um, and, and some that they were only made i think so some were only just done maybe a day or so before <laughs> their episode came out um so, right uh, right um, i can always tell when i get overwhelmed or uh, a, a little bit as you said a little bit burnout because i start forgetting <laughs> forgetting uh appointments or either double booking or, or something like that so this definitely um, it's helpful. We could relax a little bit, enjoy the time, and really engage. Yeah, definitely. I think we have more time to get to know who we speak to as well. Um, and it is good. It is it's good to speak to different people because I know on the first series, um, we had different people from all different backgrounds. Um, we had people that. Like maybe have we had a few that had IBD. Like um, we had about maybe one had Crohn's and one had arthritis. I think, um, and it was good to speak to them. Yeah, but, absolutely. But, but at the same time, we had other people that uh did it, and they just want to share the mental health story. Mhm. Yeah. Which yeah, it's 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 nice to hear because. Like I think a lot of the time we we even relate to some things that people was talking about, like anxiety, like you say. We we had I think one guest that spoke about anxiety and raising awareness or anxiety. I think that that was a really good one. Absolutely, absolutely. There was another that talked about financial wealth. Yeah. Well, I always say it backward: financial health and mental wealth. So that was a good one as well. Um, there was one that highlighted uh, breaking free. I actually referenced that a couple of days ago where we, in the end, talked about what it took uh, to build confidence. So you had the opportunity to share in that. I had the opportunity to share in that as well, along with the guest. So there were a lot of topics that it, it was just something for everybody. Definitely something for everybody. Yeah. I think that's what it was good to make it because like there's 
like I think you even had other uh, a few other people that had a, a a different chronic illness to us that came on to share that story. I think it, it was it's I always enjoy hearing other stories like if it's another chronic illness because like you maybe don't know as much about that chronic illness because you don't have it yourself. Mm-hmm. So because uh, there's so many more out there, and it's good that we had that experience of hearing about a few other people's journeys that way. Absolutely, absolutely, and oh goodness, so. One that stands out to me that might have been different would be uh, visually impaired or like you mentioned, some of the other autoimmune type deficiencies. And that's kind of what I talk about on a day to day is not necessarily being able to directly understand the condition, but understanding ways to relate because we all feel hurt in some of the same ways, sickness can, uh, we can feel that in some of the same ways, the fatigue, feeling drained, the adjustment, the anxiety, the depression, having to learn something new. So some of the framework around it is, is definitely understandable. And there was a lot offered from the guest to be able to support us, right? You mentioned before that we have Uh, Crohn's and IBD in common. So I definitely felt like we made connections when others were talking about their um, autoimmune deficiencies or different types of conditions. There was a lot of awareness raised and a lot of questions that prompted thought of how we should approach everyone with respect, with care, with understanding, with empathy, in those certain situations, because you don't know until you know, right? (laughs) You know, it's it's hard for a lot of people to even understand um, the IBD community and what we feel and what we deal with. Some days it's up, some days it's down. And it was very interesting to learn about um, other people's uh, worldview or perspective on what they're dealing with and, and how that tied into a uh, mental health awakening. Yeah, it is. And it's completely right because it's really important to hear about all these different stories. Like at the start, I thought, because um, I thought, should we just concentrate it on Crohn's and talk to every, every guest about Crohn's and IBD? Um, and then I thought, and I was thinking, we need, to, <laughs> we need to speak about other things as well. We can't just... yeah. Um, speak about it because like um a lot of a lot of the podcast a lot of people come in to speak about certain things but it's it's nice to change things so I have different series about different things um, mm-hmm. and this mental health series talking to people about just mental health in general so you, you might have a person come on and talk about perhaps grief or I know a person completely talk about a separate topic with mental health um that's right because it's it's, it's it's like a it's almost like a lesson isn't it like mental health because you can have so many things around that you can speak about that's right that's right and it it's i think it's great that we've got you representing um the male perspective of things you've got me um representing uh, the female perspective of things as it relates to Crohn's because men and women experience things differently along the way. And even it's it's the same with mental health. You know, different people experience very unique symptoms or very unique um, experiences depending on who they are. You know, it can it can look just as unique as we are. Definitely. And I think it, I can agree. Like, I think it's good that we have like when we're hosting this we have like like male and female kind of opinions on it rather than just having yeah. like two females or two males um I think uh, it's great because like it's good to like you say people experience it differently um mm-hmm. and and like sometimes I think like within the guests that we had um like you may know the guests maybe more than me, and I may know a guest more maybe more than you, depending on where we found them. Or sometimes that's we didn't, right. I think sometimes we actually didn't know the guest also that well. So sometimes we like maybe got a person on, um, 
that we didn't know often that well. But it's it, it's great to like offer them opportunity to to come on and share the story if they want. Um, it is um it's, it is nice just to come on here, isn't it? It's, I just chat. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So it, it, there's definitely those connections. And that is something that I appreciated is being able to um, give a give a unique experience to you. And you were able to do that, do the same thing for me with the guests that I didn't know or and then with the guests that you did not know or that I worked with uh, more closely. So that definitely um was it was was a, a very awesome experience it balanced things out and we even had guests who talked about hard topics like uh, suicidal ideation right you remember that we had probably two or three that brought that up yeah. and it is a it's another one of those topics to where it's stigmatized so much that people don't talk about it until it's too late, until there's a fatality that has gone uh, public. So that was beyond beneficial for the series is to have those difficult conversations that need to be normalized. Definitely. Definitely. And I completely agree. Like the, like, like in certain episodes they've like you would take maybe the more the lead on some and I did on some as well because mm -hmm. like depending on how we uh, know them from um but yeah I think like you say it's good that it balanced those things out um and I think that that's going to be a similar concept to this series again um for the people that we choose to get on um because um because it, it, I think it's the best way to have it uh, it's better than like maybe you sort one of us choose all of them <laughs> yeah um, um and then the other person will be like <laughs> i don't know any of them <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out where to cut in <laughs> <laughs> yeah because um that that that's why this series uh, like we've evened it out so like like i said at the start where we're gonna choose half of the guests each this time um like we did last time really but it was more than half because we had a lot more than half the half than the episode, so um, like probably about about thirty, I would have thought episodes, or maybe <laughs> a little bit less than that. But so many, yeah, so many. Some something else that was really cool was allowing the guest to choose their own topics. That made the series interesting unique it gave it character because everybody knows what their own story is everybody has a story everybody has unique experiences and then their individual expertise in certain areas so with the umbrella of mental health awakening there's so much that can fall underneath there and they did a great job choosing what they wanted to share, whether it was a personal experience, whether it was uh, toxic masculinity, or like I said, something that had to do with financial management, because that induces stress. And so we had the anxiety that partnered in with that. We had the depression that partnered in with that. We had um like I mentioned, advocacy, where people may be advocates within school systems or ways that they support in the community. So while every topic was different, it was awesome how they chose uh, what they wanted to talk about within the series, nice, catchy titles, but that it was real life application for them. So that really made it interesting. I'm looking forward to that again. Yeah, I'm, I am too. Like hearing what each guest picks as a topic or if they just want to, so I think some just spoke about it, just, just, just like, their own personal experience. Mm -hmm. um, but but yeah, it, it's always nice to hear that they, that, that they had the opportunity to choose their own, um, like their own topic. And I think that was really good. Yeah. Um, but uh, like how, how like because like since we last on this, of course we've we, we have seen each other since. But um, but 
like how how is your Crohn's doing, Angela? Like um now. Well, actually, I feel like I am more close to remission. <laughs> I, I went through uh, some changes as far as the, the biologic that I was taking. So I took a little bit of a break from that and started using more natural, more holistic approaches as far as the vitamins, herbs, supplements, uh, those type things. Uh, changing my diet a little bit. And then, you know, there were some ups and downs, you know, those days where you're just trying to push, push through the pain, push past the pain uh, and get stable. But now I'm back on uh, my consistent medication, feeling much better, much more energy, which I'm so excited about. So overall, um, I've had some changes with my Crohn's, but with, of course, you know, with the exams and assessments, there's nothing, um, nothing life-threatening. <laughs> That's good. Um, you know, that when they do the colonoscopies, which is a common exam or assessment um, for the digestive tract, uh, they do the biopsies and things of that nature. So I was so, uh, I'm always glad and grateful to hear that there are no cancer cells or anything like that detected, because of course, with with Crohn's um, and IBD, it makes you it puts you at a higher risk for other conditions. So um, I'm on track, That's good. feeling well. I've been doing uh, some volunteering for Crohn's uh, or Crohn's and colitis support group throughout the year, and I'm just excited to continue. How have you been doing? How's your Crohn's been? Mine has been, um, but it's been okay. I'm, I haven't been any painful. Um, I'm staying on my same with my medication that I've been on, um, for a little while. Um, I think I'm gonna at some point I'm gonna have a a kind of loss to pee, um, to see if there's any like inflammation like that. Um, okay. Um, and if that it, because like the Humira I take, I think when it next runs out, like I'm gonna have all that done. I'm I'm gonna have a little look. I, I can have a look at it. so see if I can maybe come off it off it for a little while depending how much inflammation I've got in in, in my uh, system so I hopefully fingers crossed I can um because it would be nice to come off it because like as you say like the things we take um can be really bad uh, like uh, bad in a way that like it makes us really vulnerable and a low immune system taking like mm-hmm. drugs like uh, uh infusions which which uh, like, like, of course, like speaking about cancer, people with cancer do take these uh, certain medications that we take ourselves. So, um, and and cancer is always you know, it, it, everything's a risk, really, w- which you can get. You can get loads of things with Crohn's just on, the, on top on top of it. Um, and um, yeah, I, I'm on. So I hope I think at some point this year I will do that. Um, or if it's not this year, it'll be next year. But it should be this year. But I'm not sure when it runs out yet. But um, like other than that, I'm 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 good. I'm good. I I take my vitamin D, still wear it every every day. Um, sometimes forget. It. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm 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 doing okay. Not painful at all. Um, like food wise, I I I just eat what I can. Um, no, yeah. Uh, same same old really. But yeah, it's good that we're both we're both doing all right. That's that's right. I'm excited about that. Happy about it. Yeah. And uh, like you said, there, there's always that risk. <laughs> we we laughed about it uh, almost two years in a row. I either got on uh, either I was a guest on your podcast and I was getting over COVID <laughs> <laughs> or it was just getting started. So <laughs> we, we yeah. want to avoid that. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. like, like the first time you came on as a guest. Like I think you, I think you. Even, I don't know if you ever had COVID or you had. So you were getting it or you had it. Um, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that first time, and then you had it. I think Mental Health Awakening last year, did you? Um, you had it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, do do you have it now, Angela? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do not. <laughs> 
That's good. That's good news. But I'm not sure. We'll have to be in prayer for throughout the series. <laughs> I'm not sure. What points do you, do you remember like last year? What point in the series that you had it? Oh my goodness. I believe it was toward the beginning. It may oh my goodness. Toward the beginning. D depending on when we started recording, I can we can probably go back and look at some of the episodes and listen to them because my voice was really raspy. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. that call seems to be the thing that lingers the longest. So I was probably putting myself on mute, drinking water throughout. So yeah, yeah. I, I think it may show up. It may be more telling going back and watching the episodes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Definitely, I think it was like a lot of you say, probably towards the first, like beginning of February, wasn't it, where we started doing that. Um, but but yeah, so fingers crossed at the moment that you haven't got it. But um, fingers crossed you don't get it. <laughs> don't we, get it all. Yeah, that's throughout, right. Yeah, throughout this series, but um, but yeah, um, like speaking of like COVID, I think um, it's a lot tougher now. I think um, if you are in in a compromise because um. Like a lot of things are not over, especially over here in the UK. Uh, like nothing, like it's almost like it's forgotten about now. Really, COVID and a lot of people have moved on. Yeah, yeah. So it's I think it's very hard. Um, like it is, it's hard to to kind of so uh, if taking drugs and people don't understand. But um, but we had, this is why we do this. This is why we do like mental health awakening. Yeah, because, yeah. Um, it does really affect, like, different parts of, like, our journeys do affect, like, mental health a lot. So it's it's good we get to speak about it like this, I think. Um, But, like, so through this Mental Health Awakening too, what are you most looking forward to, Angela? Oh, wow. I am looking forward to the guest. I'm looking forward to learning. Uh, there's there's always something that will unfold, even though it may be uh, the same topic of mental health. There's always something new that we can learn from each other, that we can learn uh, from the community. Of course, as I mentioned always in my introduction, the USA partnering with the UK, there may be some things that are showing up more in one place than another. And I'm just I'm just looking forward to learning. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. But I think it's gonna be really awesome. So speaking of I like what what I'm looking forward to, it's 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 always nice to do to do this. Like we, we enjoyed it a lot, lot we, we we really enjoyed it last time. Um, and it's going to be really fun this time because um, mm -hmm. as we are speaking now, um, we haven't um, actually thought of, like, the guests. <laughs> <laughs> we have, like, we have kind of, haven't we, Angela? But we just get... We just, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I know what you mean. Before we had it, we had a full list and we had to sort and narrow through. So now it's uh, <laughs> it it it's still it's still uh, in the making. <laughs> yeah, work in progress. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but like uh, before we started doing this episode, um, we, we did have a little chat about uh, like who if we had anyone in mind, which we do have about. I think I think we have a, a few in mind. But we haven't got we we haven't contacted anyone yet, so um I think we're 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 uh we're going to start doing that soon. So um the majority of the the the, the, the upcoming month month of time we're recording this, um because the time we are recording this is actually the twenty second of February, um today. So um a bit later than last time, as we said before. But yeah, so people who know it's twenty second of February for us. It might be the fifteenth or sixteenth May for you. So, <laughs> so for anyone listening and watching, it's all to come for you. Like we've done, we've already done all the episodes. <laughs> 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 yeah, we've done it all. We've done it. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, come May, it will be ready to yeah. <laughs> ready to go. Yeah, ready to go. But um, but so like b- before we finish this episode, because this episode is a kind of it's a brief, just short episode, just in- introduction episode, um, of Mental Health Awakening two. We did the same for men the first series of Mental Health Awakening as well, because we we thought about doing this just me and Angela speaking because we thought just to catch up as well and just to let people watching listening know what is going to be happening um as well um so the kind of process it will, 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 will be is that there'll be an in this episode and then there'll be the guests that we pick um afterwards um and then we'll have a little reunion episode um for anyone who does want to decide to come back at the end um and then we'll have last episode me and angela just reviewing and everything that's gone on so yeah that sounds like a good plan doesn't it angela it sounds like a good plan. I think I think it's fair to say that the viewers and listeners can expect to learn tips, suggestions, ways to connect with mental health uh, providers for ongoing care, uh, learning a lot about how mental health is just as important as physical health, and so much more. So there's a lot to look forward to. Yeah, there's, there's so much to look forward to, and me and Angela can't wait to um start start like getting the guests on um throughout like the time we have before May um so it's it, it's it's gonna be really exciting um to hear everyone's journey and sort of, and uh, like we will learn as well because I think we always we we will say we learn everything every day but there's been times in the last Mental Health series that we didn't know some things as well so. It's going to be yeah. nice to just to learn and the guests will learn as well because there's certain topics I think that will be maybe um, quite sensitive and it's good that certain people share these topics, that, was, especially from the last series because there were some that were quite deep topics as well, wasn't there? Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was really great for people that to share that stuff because um, it's not easy to certain aspects of mental health speak about like personal journeys and everything um mm-hmm. because, because it is hard it's hard to speak anything at first but i think uh, after time like it, it, it gets more used to it i think um but um but yeah but yeah th- this could be a really great series with, with angela um and uh mental health awakening too um like it, it's i think it's the easiest name we've done <laughs> like mental health we'll just put a two on the end of the, the first series um but um, but yeah, um, we we we, we I think me and Angela like uh will perhaps do one every year, depending on how, how we feel. Um, but as far as we're concerned for twenty twenty three, even though I can't believe it is still twenty twenty three, and we said that at the beginning. Right. Of the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we 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 can't believe how fast January first has flown to now. Um, but um, but yeah, we can't wait to share it with you. Um and yeah, is there anything else you want to add, Angela, before we kind of finish the first episode? I'm excited. I'm excited about the resources. I'm excited about being able to pour into our communities, and we are ready. Let's go. We are ready. Um and yeah, I I completely agree with Angela, and I can't wait. To, and we we both can't wait to speak to every guest that we have on. Um and yeah, um happy I guess happy awareness acceptance mental health um awareness month and uh, enjoy the the following episodes after this episode, um and yeah it's gonna be really good fun we're we're learning good things and yeah be ready everyone but from me and Angela we will see you in the next episode and yeah um we'll get on to that recording <laughs> where we Angela That's but, right. but um from the future it's all done so. Enjoy the rest of the, the, the uh, series, everyone. But from Angela and I, goodbye for now, and we'll see you in the next episode.